Omna's journey is still on. And what does Omna see through her window? While being in the train, let's see. It is morning now. Last night, I went to sleep early. It was too dark to see anything outside. When the train stopped early this morning, I woke up. It was mud cow. That was written on the board at the platform. Appa said that we were going through the Strait of Goa. We got off at the station and had some hot tea and filled our water bottles. The train started again. I find it difficult to describe the scene outside. It is so beautiful. It is green everywhere, fields with red soil and green crops, hills covered with trees. Sometimes I can see small ponds and far away behind the hills, more water. I can't make out if it is a river or the sea. The air is cooler and not so dry as in Ahmedabad. Now tell me, Goa is a dash. Your options are district, state. Think and tell. Very good, state. Goa is a state. Where there is greenery, there is hotness. True or false? Come on, tell. False. Because where there is greenery, there is coolness. Just like Omna felt on reaching Mudgaon. My little learners, greenery means lots of plants, which keeps us cool. What else does greenery do? Yes, maintain the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Plants control air pollution also. And yes, the scenery appeals us and makes us happy heart. Very good. Let's go on with the reading part. The train passed a level crossing. People are waiting on both the sides of the crossing for the train to pass. There are buses full of people, cars, trucks, auto rickshaws, cycles, motorcycles, scooters and even tongas and bullock carts with people and goods in them. Some people do not switch off the engines of their vehicles even while waiting at the level crossing. There is a lot of smoke and noise. I see some people going under the bars of the level crossing. How dangerous this is. At times our train crosses another train. Uni and I try to count the carriages in one such train. But both the trains were going so fast. We always got confused. Now it's a question time. So here we have. Why level crossing is made? Think and tell. Yes, it is made so that no accident can happen. Very good. Omna saw many kinds of vehicles at the level crossing. Which of them run on diesel or petrol? Tell me. Okay, the buses, trucks and few cars run on diesel. While scooters, motorcycles and the remaining cars run on petrol. Very good. Children, why was there so much smoke and noise from the vehicles at the level crossing? Tell me. Yes, there was so much smoke and noise from the vehicles at the level crossing because some people did not turn off the engines of their vehicles even while waiting at the railway crossing. Absolutely right. Can, can we do to reduce noise of the vehicle and save petrol and diesel? Think and tell. One way is to switch off the engine of vehicles when waiting for a signal or level crossing, okay? Very good. Doing the regular checkups and servicing the vehicles will reduce noise of the vehicles and even save fuel. Very good, my little learners. Yes, I can hear. Some of you are saying we can use vehicles run on CNG and electricity. Very good, my little learners. Now, where else do the vehicles wait to move other than at railway crossing? Yes, at the red lights. Does your parents turn off the vehicles while waiting at the red signal? Do watch. Okay. Children, 
Sometimes people cross the tracks even when the crossing is closed. What do you feel about this? Yes, all of you are saying it is fatal. And very good. No one should take such a risk. Yes, my little learners, absolutely right. Now let's proceed with our chapter. Later, I was sitting near the window with my eyes closed. Suddenly, the sound of the moving train changed. Kur, kur, kur. I opened my eyes. Guess what I saw? Our train was crossing a very big river on a very long bridge. As it was crossing the bridge, it sounded very different. The wheels rattled as there was no ground. Only the tracks and the water down below. When I first looked down, I felt giddy. It was really quite scary. The river down below was full of water and had some boats. I could also see some fishermen on the banks. I waved at them. But I did not know if they could see me. Alongside our bridge, there was another bridge for buses and cars. This was built differently from ours. I'm going over. Our bridge was more adventurous. Here? Yes, here we have two bridges. Now tell me the difference between these two bridges. Okay. On this bridge, we have concrete road. And on this? Yes, on this we have railway track. So that trains can move smoothly. Absolutely. Concrete road bridge is for the other vehicles to run on smoothly. And why do we need bridges? Think over it, okay? Now let's start reading again. The last few hours have been so exciting. After breakfast, I climbed onto the upper berth to read my comics. It was bright and sunny outside. Suddenly, everything became dark. It also felt a little cold inside. I was afraid. Then the lights in the train came on. But outside, it was very dark. Somebody said, We have entered a tunnel. This goes right through the mountain. The tunnel seemed to go on and on. And then, just as suddenly, we were in daylight again. Outside, it was sunny, bright and green. The train had crossed the tunnel. Appa explained that we were on the other side of the mountain. Since then, we have passed through four smaller tunnels. Now, I am enjoying going through the tunnels. See here? Absolutely right. This is a tunnel. Do you know tunnels are made by cutting the mountains? From Goa to Kerala has a total of 2000 bridges and 92 tunnels. Yes, these are two railway signs. Absolutely right. This is the sign of unguarded level crossing, which has to be crossed very cautiously as there is no one to tell you that train is coming. And here we have, yes, it is guarded level crossing, which means everyone is told beforehand that train is coming by putting down the bars. Okay. Now it is afternoon. For lunch, we had idli vada that we bought from Udipi station. We also bought some bananas. These were very small and very tasty. The scene outside has changed again. Now we can see many coconut trees and green fields everywhere. Amma says that these are paddy fields. The houses and villages look very different. People's clothes are also different from what we see in Ahmedabad. Most people are wearing white or cream colored dhotis and saris. Many people who were with us from Ahmedabad have got off. People have also got on to the train from different stations. Sunil's family is getting off at Cozy Court, which comes at around 6 o'clock. We have exchanged addresses and plan to meet in Ahmedabad. You will also like Sunil and Anne. Udipi is in Dash State. Your options are Karnataka, Maharashtra. Think and tell. Yes, Karnataka. Udipi is in Karnataka State. What did Omna's family buy from Udipi to eat? Okay, bananas and idli vada. Very good. 
You know children, idli vada is a main food of Karnataka. Now I show you some food items of different states. You will have to match them with the states they belong to. Okay. Dosa. Yes, Tamil Nadu. Very good. Dhokla Thepla. Absolutely, Gujarat. Pav Bhaji. Maharashtra. Very good. Dal Bati Churma. Yes, Rajasthan. Very good. Lassi, of course, Punjab, Sandesh, yes, West Bengal. Children, every place is famous for its food and attires. We have already talked about food. Now it's time to talk about typical attires of different places. So see the attires and match with the places they belong to. Here we have Pehran. Yes, Jammu Kashmir. Mekla Chadar. Absolutely awesome. Mundu. Yes, Kerala. Himachali Cap. Absolutely. Himachal Pradesh. Dhoti Kurta and Kurta Lehenga. Come on, tell me. Yes, Haryana. Orani Ghagra Choli. Tell me. Absolutely, Rajasthan. Kurta Tehmat Salwar Suit. Yes, Punjab. Very good. Now it is night. We have also started packing up. The train will reach Kotayam in about 3 hours. That is where we have to get off. Tonight we will go to Valiamma's house. Tomorrow, we will take the bus that will take us to Amuma's village. We all are quite tired. After all, we have been on the train for two days. What a long journey it has been. We had a lot of fun. I will put my diary away now. I will write again after we reach Amuma's house. You know, children, mother's elder sister is called Valiyamma. And mother's mother is called Amuma in Malayalam. Now tell me about the languages spoken in the given states. Here we have Malayalam. Now tell me where is Malayalam spoken? Yes, Kerala. Konkani? Absolutely, Goa. Marathi? Yes, Maharashtra. Gujarati? Yes, the name itself says Gujarat. Kannad. Absolutely right. Karnataka. Very good. Children, Omna's journey is still on. We will see what Omna writes in her diary when she continues with her writing in our next meeting. Till then, ask your friends, where are they from? Which language do they speak? Which food item is popular in the place they belong to? What is the main attire of their place? Yes, do tell the same about yourself too. Okay, stay always happy and healthy. Bye-bye.